Hi guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot. I am back to do your soulmate reading. Beautiful Virgos. So Virgos, Summer, Mars, and Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, North Node. Um, your last reading was very interesting. So um, let's see what we, what you guys have going on. And I'm talking about the how do they feel second half of um, October. Um, you guys were hurt. You guys were moving on from something that didn't serve you anymore. Some of you guys, I should say, <laughs> some of you guys were moving on from something that no longer served you. Um, but I do feel like this particular person you were dealing with, um, got some type of revelation. Um, some type of clarity. Let's see what's happening now in November for the soulmate connection. Um, so just to put out my little announcements, um, I am taking clients on instant go. Ooh, ooh, somebody is interfering with a relationship. I hate that. Third party energy always in the mix. What's going on? Um, but I'm taking new clients on instant go. I'm answering questions for $10 and I'm running a special um, $20 for uh, in-depth video reading. Hit me up if you're interested. It's part of my 1111 Gateway Special. I decided to extend it because I did get a, uh, um, I did get some people inquiring about that. I didn't get a chance to do it in time. So I'm going to extend it until midnight tonight. And that will be the last day for the special. Um, so right now we have the sun at the bottom of the deck, which is good. I like that for you guys, son. So, um, we have the woman holding a coin. I don't like this woman being here next to Karen Connections. Um, this is about someone that might be very materialistic, overspending, making bad choices. This is about value. This is about self-value, self-worth. When I see this in a love spread, um, somebody was lacking worth and value or they didn't, you know, they didn't really... Uh, put their worth or value first. Um, this is also in relations to health, mental, and emotional health. I, I like to, to attribute that to this card too. Um, so this is about feeling unsure and fearful about your finances or some type of health issue. Um, you, if you're a man, it could be a woman that's using you for your money. Or this could be a woman that just devalues you, or you could have been with somebody that devalued you and didn't appreciate you, didn't see your worth. And there was a separation, there was an ending of this connection. But because of this ending, it's causing you extreme anxiety, okay? Um, and this was so due to somebody not opening up in this connection. It feels like more of the masculine energy not opening up, but we could always clarify. Um, so they, it, this is causing you a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. Okay, let's clarify the world card reverse. So someone wasn't opening up, um, even though they felt like this person was undermining their self-worth and their value. They just, I think that's why you guys were kind of guarded and not opening up. This is expansion. This is this relationship really not moving forward in a positive direction. This is almost like, I like to look at this as a world card. I like to look at it as cycles. I feel like a cycle ended or a cycle needs to end, you know, for some of you guys. Virgo. Um, this relationship wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, see? So you release the devil energy because, or this is fear, and, and, and this is right next to anxiety, worry, stress. I look at that as extreme fear, regret. Somebody is feeling regretful. They may have been in a devil energy. I see them trying to release the devil energy, but, um, or they may have released a toxic connection. <laughs> this could be your energy. Clarify the double reverse, please. <clears throat> yeah, Knight of Wands, world reverse. Making the same mistakes over and over and over again. So you're dealing with someone that, or you may have been making these mistakes over and over again, just only to get hurt. Letting this Knight of Wands in reverse energy come in here, sweep you off your feet, and they come in and they go as fast as they come in. Clarify anxiety. 
So right now you're really feeling anxious, worried, stressed about this connection, thinking that you lost this person, or this is just a residual energy of just all the stress and hurt they put you through. You may not want this person back, uh, but you still feel the pain. Clarify anxiety, please. But I do see that there is going to be some type of offer or there's somebody offering you something. Maybe somebody new is trying to come back and you're worried and fear fearful. Yeah, I just split the deck and I got page of cups. So this could be a reconciliation, but I do see this as a new beginning. It's a small emotional gesture, flirting. Um, but I mean, I like to look at the Ace of Pentacles as uh, the seed of stability. Like this is like, you know, getting to know one another. But feeling like you have common ground between each other here. It could also be a blessing from the universe. Uh, opportunity. The universe is giving you something that can be prosperous and that can turn into long-term stability. Clarify the Ace of um, Pentacles, please. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, and there's going to be healing with this new opportunity, okay? So I like that. Let's pull one more card and let's get the Celtic going. I don't want to... Uh, let's do the Sun. So the sun is the new beginning, so I do like this message. Clarify the sun here. Positive energy coming in. Sorry if you guys can't see that. There it go. Positive energy coming in for some of you guys. And this is for you guys that are healing, allowing yourself to release this devil energy of fear, worry, and um, desperation. Clarify the sun. Ooh. The sun is being clarified by the Five of Cups reverse. I like that. Letting go. Walking away from the past, letting go of the, the the emotional baggage, the regret, the disappointment. Just letting all that go. So heavy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one more card. Heavy, heavy, heavy energy. Um, but the reverse of this is good. You know, it's better than um the upright you know this is about walking away you know looking at the two cups behind you finally looking at the opportunities that are being presented this is about moving on rejoining the light reawakening gaining emotional strength and this is forgiveness okay letting bygones be bygones releasing that energy that's holding you it's keeping you stuck it's held, holding you hostage clarify the five of cups reverse and the sun's out this is you gaining clarity you you know, having something to smile about again, feeling happy. There's something new coming in. Clarify, please. But don't let this old connection and this old inter this this energy from the past. Yeah, you're gaining strength. You thought I pulled two cards. I didn't mean to pull two cards, but that's fine. You thought the um, grass was greener on the other side, or the person that you were with thought the grass were greener was greener. You didn't feel fulfilled by that relationship, and this was some type of soulmate connection. Whoever this person was was a soulmate. Wow. Um, secrets were revealed. I feel like there's some type of reconciliation, but I don't know. I don't feel like it's. there might be some deceit attached to it. Or this could be you rejecting um, somebody's cup here. Okay. So that's your oracle message. Let's go ahead and get that Celtic going. Eight minutes in. I'm trying to get these out. I just be talking too much. I just did a Leo video. That thing was 45 minutes, y'all. I like the video, but y'all don't be watching. <laughs> y'all better watch the whole thing. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit, for this oracle message. So let's go ahead and let's get the Celtic. Um, and I read it in a modified way. Okay, that was ugly. That's better. All right. Spirit, please give me a divine message for the collective of Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, and Earth. No. Let me know what challenges Virgo face. What lessons will they um, need to learn? And what lessons are they learning? And what are the, what are the best potential outcomes or best course of action and advice that they need to know as it pertains to so many journey? Holy Spirit, please give me a divine message for Leo. All 
All right, so split the deck. This is about uh, contemplation about some type of connections. Something you deem as a soulmate connection, something that is very strong. It's a spiritual connection between you and somebody. Okay. Yeah, it came back out, so we're going to keep that as the heart of the matter. Um, oops. <clears throat> so what's crossing this energy is five of wands, lots of conflicts. We have the justice reverse here. So this is about being being treated unfairly, Virgo. Um, this could be inner conflict or this could just be arguments, a lot of arguments. I am so sorry for the glare. A lot of arguments with this person. Oh, are you gonna see this? In the past, you saw this uh, as a victory. There was recognition within this relationship. I mean, it looks like there was harmony and balance in the past. Or this person had a big ego. This person was on a high horse. We'll clarify. Um, so, uh, chronic the reading, you're not feeling fulfilled anymore, or you're unhappy. Sorry. My bad, you guys, but that was the thing was falling. You're feeling unhappy within this ring, this union with this person. Immediate future to tower reverse. So there is some resistance to ending a cycle or resistance to change. Um, there, there is um, an energy of maybe there are some arguments. Um, I feel like you keep trying to put bandages, band-aids on things, you know, wounds or just issues. Um. It's almost like every time something happens, it's like you try to keep the relationship together, even though you know you're unhappy here. This is resistance. This is settling. I always look at that as settling. The doubts and fears. You fear a separation. You fear being left out in the cold. Outside influence, King of Swords energy. This person was very mean, cocky, very... Uh, aggressive maybe manipulative or just just controlling wow <laughs> this is a pair um your hopes and your desires is a uh, is the queen of swords um you know this is you getting standing in your power getting your power back this is you with your little bullshit uh, what is the, what i called this last time your your bullshit detector your lie detector that little sword as soon as you feel, when you smell bullshit, you start chopping heads off. Get out of my face. <laughs> um, but this is you wanting to make a, a decision or needing to make a decision about something. You, you desire making, being able to make a decision or um, you desire truth, rather. I should say truth and justice and fairness. So what is the outcome? Two of swords. I don't like that as an outcome. This could be you reaching a decision, definitely. Bottom of the deck, justice. I feel like there might be a divorce or a marriage involved in this. Somebody might be going to court about something um, as it relates to marriage. Um, this could be about dealing with someone that is um, an authority figure, a judge, cop, or you're going before a judge in regards to this relationship. Um, you feel very burdened and you're, you're wanting to let go of the burdens that you feel. Emperor definitely someone in a position of power so i like these cards now coming up emperor the magician and the ace of cups and the full card here three of wands three of wands is also always good after this full for me that's success you might as well be dating someone living at a distance this is a new beginning this is definitely a reconciliation somebody's Somebody is coming in as the emperor. They're trying to manifest this union here. But you need to make some type of decision. You feel like... I feel like this is someone new trying to come in. Trying to build with you. But I feel like you are needing to decide between two people. You can't make a decision between two people. 
Let's look at that. Interesting. Clarify the lovers reverse, please. There could have been infidelity. This is definitely third party because I do feel two energies. Um, but I have a queen and a king on the table. And the emperor. So the emperor is the other guy. He's upright, so he's good. He's nice, he treats you well. He wants to offer you consist consistency. Consistency and stability, but this king of swords is the person that you're married to or you're with, and that person's controlling, that person's brash, that person's mean. And this emperor is trying to come in and be a boo. I'm gonna put that next to the king of swords. There is two men or two women, or if, if you're a woman, I mean, if you're a man, um, there may be a, a Aries or a Taurus or a, a Aquarius Libra, so an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Libra, Gemini, <clears throat> or uh, Aries, Taurus. So um, the lovers is being uh, clarified by the magician. So this is a manipulation. This could be a lack of courage, lack of direction. I see this as um, lots of cards. Hermit, Eight of Swords. Yeah, King of Swords just came up again. So yeah, somebody wants, needs to make a decision. It's like it's hard for you to make a decision. You're doing some soul searching, trying to figure out if you should give this person a chance. You may be separated. You may have already broken up and this is someone new coming in. If you're still in a relationship, this is a third party. And this person's communicating with you fast and they want to give you this little raggy fish in their cup. I mean, this. I always say that because I'd be like, why? I don't want this fish. <laughs> but it's their last fish, I guess. So you're you're having conflict with the inner conflict. Trying to decide. Clarify the um, nine of cups reverse crown in the reading. Oh, focus on negative energies, negative memories of the past. This was definitely soulmate. Secrets, three of swords, energy is heart heartbreak here. Someone had a third party. Someone was some. There was some secret that came out about the third party as well. Clarify the tower reverse. This is resistance and this is settling, in my opinion. Then the reverse. The two people are falling out of the tower. It's almost like they're going backwards. It's like they're not falling. It's almost like they're falling back into the tower. <laughs> Juggling third party situations, somebody was married. So, someone's married and they're dealing with uh, a married uh, someone is dealing with someone that's already in a committed relationship or married. Um, I feel like somebody is trying to juggle or make a decision or will reach a decision about a partnership, about building with someone. But I also feel third party from um, energy. This is about someone wanting to liberate themselves or someone wanting to get married, um, you know. <clears throat> they want stability rather that can lead into marriage okay so they the, you know you want stability with this person you want to marry this person this person doesn't treat you very well or this person wants to offer that to you but you are ready to cut this person out here in the hopes and desires clarify that uh, hangman so hangman reverse is about letting go about giving up on something or feeling getting unstuck. Clarify the hangman reverse, please. Right, the tower. <laughs> to get unstuck, you need to let the tower moment happen. Stop resisting it. You're resisting it because you want stability with this person or you don't want to break up with this person. Maybe there's a partnership. Maybe there's a business partnership or marriage partnership. Um, you, have, you, you really love this person. Let's look at this outcome. Clarify the Two of Swords as a final outcome, please. Clarify the Two of Swords. So all these cards were trying to come out. Let's just look at them. I don't think I'm going to... Okay, I'll take them. Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands, which is positive. Nine to the Ten. We have another Nine reverse. So this is going to be an ending of a struggle because you're letting go of a burden. Releasing this energy here of mourning and, and grief and, and, law and feeling bad. And you're about to cut someone out and gain clarity. You're, you're, you want the truth. You're determined. And I feel like 
this is you just this is a new phase this is you wanting to head in a different direction but I kind of feel like the page is looking back at the Queen of Swords I just split the deck I got the Queen of Swords reverse and the devil wanting to sever this attachment so I feel like you don't want to be in this connection anymore it served this purpose but somebody or their love interest wants to keep it going or this could be your energy wanting to keep it going even though you know it's toxic and I feel like there's a new opportunity trying to come in but you don't trust it and you don't know if you want to move forward with it here um, because that would require you to get a divorce or to end or it would require you to be in a, an unconventional relationship meaning that you're already already in a commitment but this person is stirring your romantic feelings and you don't want to cheat you're afraid of infidelity or you're afraid of taking an unconventional approach um and it's making you feel unbalanced you know what i'm saying you just don't and this has something to do with money this has something to do with stability staying within a partnership because of stability but i really feel like somebody wants to reconcile someone is um or someone is uh, not changing their ways okay this resistance could be a resistance to change but I do see that someone is deciding or trying to decide or make a decision about taking an offer. Okay, because this was clarifying the lovers. And I think you're reluctant because you don't know, you don't, you are already in a partnership, some of you guys. And if you're single, you just like really didn't get over the person that screwed you over yet completely. Even though that person, that person treated you like crap. Okay. It's like, you're, you're needing to make a decision, but I feel like right here, you're gonna make a decision here. Some of you guys are making a decision to walk, to walk towards something new. Some of you guys are gonna make the decision to stay. Plain and simple. So let's see what the best course of action is in the advice. Let me see if I have time. Yeah, if I have time. the best course of action for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, and North Node, please. What's the best course of action for Virgo? Time to let go of the emotional baggage. I feel like somebody's trying to come back. <sighs> if this is your energy, Virgo, okay, this could be you or the cross watcher. You are thinking about circling back and again, preventing this power moment here best course of action is but it is also walking away and this card flew out devil and the death card reverse see i feel like you guys want to walk, move on but this person keeps coming back this is like you have a strong connection this person doesn't want this to end so they're saying that you need to be careful of this devil energy here or this fear this could be stagnation because of fear not wanting to move in a different direction or take a risk some of you guys are in a committed relationship, but you're not happy within it. And somebody else is trying to offer you some love and affection and you're afraid because you know that it's un unconventional, you know, because you're kind of in a partnership. My suggestion is to trust your intuition, okay? And the final advice, please. I know that the devil was kind of like the advice, but I'm just gonna pull one more card for advice. Final advice, please. I don't like how this came out. Oh, I like it. The sun. Stay positive. You're going to gain clarity. And this is about staying positive, being optimistic. Um, but don't be overly optimistic, okay? But this is definitely talking about gaining clarity about a situation. Staying positive when, within a situation. And doing what's best for you. Putting your happiness first. Your happiness always should come first, you guys. Always, always. Clarify sun. I want to clarify the sun. You could have been dealing with a Leo, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. 
Libra. Virgo. All signs. I found some characters. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile. Someone wants a new beginning. Um, this is also you looking at your past relationships and um take a stock of your life, take a stock of the mistakes that you have made. Okay. Reflection. This is reflection and this is also patience. Being patient. So if you are wishing for this person to come back, this person it may be trying to come back in. Um, or this for people that are single, heading towards something new. Um, this energy is about being optimistic and not letting the things of the past or the relationships in the past um, have a negative um, impact on this current relationship, okay? So that is your reading. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.